Even all Marcus here, back in with another video, back in with another Oculus Go video. And I've been cranking out these videos the last couple of days. I've put out three, four, five different videos, so make sure you check those out. But in this video, we're going to check out the latest update to the firmware. So firmware update 3.55 is rolling out. Some people have got it, some people haven't. Uh, but we'll kind of cover what's in it, what isn't, uh, and sort of uh, have a quick look. All right, first up, before we say anything, let's have a just quick check in the settings, see all, and you can check to see whether you've got the latest update. So if we go in here, let it load, on the left-hand side, click about, and then at the top, you should have version 3.55, 31 or 3.55 for short, because they've all been three point something. Uh, if you have that, you have the latest update. What I would say as a caveat to this is, Whenever they bring out a firmware update, that doesn't mean you get the latest features. They mean you're capable of getting them, but they seem to slowly roll them out anyway. So you don't get all the features. So say for example, this is the new home screen. I had this a few weeks back for a few days, and then it disappeared, went back to the old one again, and now I've got it back again. So it's a slightly nicer home screen. I've got kind of a boring looking background. I like to keep it nice and simple, nice and clean. Uh, but as you can see, it's a bit bit better. You've got your kind of jump back in section at the top, so you can jump back into the things you've been testing and you've been using. Uh, recommended for you stuff is down here. Uh, and then anything that's been new in your gallery uh, or in your library even, I uh, guess, is down here so you can have a quick look and have a look so you do have a little button top right hand corner to make it bigger but you can choose how big and small you want it i think because i'm recording it's going a bit weird uh, which is nice to have uh, you've also got quick access to voice search which is handy and then you've got a nice little back button so if you go into any of these sort of things you can jump back which is good the only other thing i've really seen is if we go into uh gallery sorry the only other kind of visual update that kind of makes any serious difference is if we go into gallery, go into internal storage. If your gallery button isn't down here, your gallery is now an app in your Oculus Go store. So in your Oculus Go library, sorry, you search for gallery app, it'll be in there. But we've had to change the gallery layout. So we've got a few different options. So we've got a little thumbnail option for viewing things. We've got a list option. And we've got kind of, I guess, this is the kind of the original view. Um, and nice little sort of options as well to delete stuff nice and easy uh, on every single one just to kind of speed up the process. So that's nice. And then obviously, I think before we had a list of albums, recent and A to Z, but uh, some slight different layouts to uh, media library. So if you've got a lot of stuff, you'll probably go to this one. Um, depending on what it is, you go to this one. So that's quite good. A little bit of more information uh, available in that view. So that's kind of like the detail view. So quite good, I like that. Uh, and I guess the only other thing I guess that's the kind of main sort of visual differences. If we find, uh, what am I looking for? Not venues. Uh, where are you? Uh, Oculus TV. Here we go. Oculus TV has had a slight update. And this is one you probably won't even notice for most people. Uh, but it now runs. Well, it looks different anyway. It's, it's changed a, a week or so ago. And it's a slightly different sort of background that you've got. Uh, what I would probably say it looks like a slightly bigger screen, but this wasn't in this update. You've probably got this already. Um, but now Oculus TV runs at a higher clock rate on your Oculus Go. So the Oculus Go itself has different levels of power that it gives to certain apps, and they've cranked this up. So Oculus TV in general should be smoother. That's good because it means anything that you sideload will now work even better because it has more CPU, more memory, more everything else to work with to bring a smoother experience to it. So stay tuned, I've got a couple of apps that I'm sort of playing around with in Oculus TV, which I think you guys will be interested in. Um, and that extra clock rates, those extra, that little bit of extra power, will make a big, big difference to those apps that I'm gonna be showing you. So uh, exciting times. But other than that, there's not much else that's been introduced. Uh, I think the only kind of thing maybe potentially to look at is if you click cast under sharing, you do have a Chromecast option here, but that doesn't seem to have been rolled out yet. I don't have that on my phone. Um, nothing else happens, but that'd be quite handy. So if you've got a Chromecast plugged into your TV, you can stream to your phone and then click Chromecast and it'll cast to the Chromecast to your TV or your PC or whatever, you know, your Oculus browser or whatever, um, your Chrome browser even. Uh, it would make just life a little bit easier. Because I know people, it's, it's fine sharing it on a phone, um, but sharing it on a bigger screen is maybe a bit better for sort of social stuff if you're playing with a big party of people. Uh, 
so that's nice. But other than that, sort of no major updates. There's no USB storage. Unfortunately, that's not in there yet. Um, what other big updates we're we waiting for? Nothing else is kind of major. I think the USB storage is kind of the main one that people have been hanging out for. I'm not sure what the issue is, um, but as soon as we know about it, as soon as it works, I do keep testing it. I'll make a video straight away and make sure you guys know. Uh, but for now, unfortunately, USB storage doesn't work. And just a note as well, people do keep asking me, it will just be for media. You won't be able to put apps on it. Or we're assuming you won't be able to put apps on it because apps just need to be work quicker and faster and putting them on USB storage, it's not the same as, you know, just a bit of media or whatever. So it will likely be, I would say 99% sure, it will just be for media, so bear that in mind. So there's the updates that I've seen on Oculus Go. Have you seen any that have come through? I do know that some of the features kind of drip through. You don't always get them. Just because you've got version 3.55 doesn't mean that you've got all the features. They do seem to sort of roll them out slowly. Um, so don't panic if you don't have all the different things that have changed. If you don't have the update as well, the best thing to do, there's no way of sort of forcing the update, but the best way of trying to get the update is to charge your Oculus Go, put it on charge, leave it, make sure it's still on, obviously on standby, connect it to your mobile phone app. And then that seems to kind of kick off the kind of process to get it updated. Not many people ever sort of see it um, updating, but it does in the background. There have been some people who've had the new update and it's caused some issues. So if that's you and it's kind of keeps saying that it needs an update, uh, hold down the power button for 10 seconds and then the Oculus Go will turn off. It'll then sort of shut down and then you just hold the button again to turn it back on. And for most people, that's fine and that's fixed it. If your Oculus Go controller has unpaired for some reason, hold down the power and back button at the same time for about five seconds, the little light will flash and it'll automatically connect back to your Oculus Go. So don't worry if you do get the update and it causes an issue, just try to turn it off back on again which is, you know, pretty much PC talk for any issues these days. But I hope you found that video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why I didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables. Hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. A virtual high five.